possibly score from there, so it goes for a short pass. Ditchburn, another good mark and lead in front of Kelvin Moore. Take the play in this second quarter. Matthews did well in the first term. Almost a mark to Kelvin Moore. A chance for Ditchburn. He's well shepherded over to Marku, who always plays well against Hawthorne, and he's put it through for a goal. No mistake, drives the ball over centre half forward now. And it's a mark to uh, Ditchburn. Going to go for a short pass. Oh, it's not too good up there to Ashman. Got a chance to get clear. Oh, he only cop one that time. Goes for a hand pass. Back there to uh, Clark. It's a snap. It's a goal. And they've hit on the ground. Bounce favours Cup. Ditchburn, snap it goal. Is true. That's a goal. Burn. Right pass. Directly in front. He's kicked two. His eighth kick. He's home. And again, the Blues lead by 29 points. A nice kick up towards Clark and Ditchburn. Ditchburn's third in line. Ditchburn nicely across to Busasto. This will seal it almost. He's kicked it. Great goal. Busasto only three kicks in the game. Possibly he was in front. Kenneth, uh, it's, uh, Robertson gets legged. Picked up by Ditchburn. That's a goal. Oh, golly, was that a charity? Ashman with a short pass, finds Ditchburn, and Ditchburn will try to put the ball forward in a hurry because Pasasto's calling for it in the goal square. Pasasto uses his body well, brings the ball down, and takes them doing as they like, and a beautiful pass from Glasgow straight into the arms of Ditchburn, and so Ross Ditchburn with four goals on the buffet by the Carlton side, but right now it's Ross Ditchburn from 45 metres out. The kick going goalward. Too high for the Hawthorne players, marked over the line by Vesasco, but it's goal number for play by Ken Hunter. Drives the ball towards centre half forward. Ditchburn in position, takes a timely mark, and once again we'll find Ditchburn. And that's how he got enough room to take the mark and now take this shot for goal. Good play by Ditchburn. And to the applause of the Carlton fans, it's through for another goal to Ross Ditchburn. Second bounce, Ditchburn calls for the ball, it's well delivered, and it's marked by Ditchburn, only 25 metres out from goal. He's directly in front, only 30 metres out. The kick by Ditchburn, there's no mistake about that, the goal umpire does not move at all. Takes the mark and kicks long down towards Ditchburn. He marks 30 metres out, directly in front of Melbourne, missing Peter Giles. Running around that wing position. A long kick looking for Ditchburn, he's got the mark. A bad mistake by uh, Browning that time at centre field. Flop down towards the full forward position, Smith in front. Chance for Carlton, ball comes out to Johnston. Glasgow going for a short pass, it's OK and Ditchburn's got the mark. And Ditchburn would be about to link to a hand pass here to Ditchburn, he's got a chance to score and he does. So, but it's too late now because we're just on the, I think we're just about on the 30 minute mark. 9 17 71 Carlton to the Swans 15 16 106. Finally, it's uh, the ball kicked up there and a mark taken by Ditchburn has been pretty closely guarded uh, by. Uh, All that for Fitzroy. Well, playing with Port Melbourne can certainly toughen your up. He fires at the goal. Uh, Ditchburn, and that's a great gets the hand pass back over to Fitzpatrick in the forward pocket. Over to Ditchburn, almost the fumble. Back to Fitzpatrick in the goal square. Then he ran it behind it, but he still put it through. And a badly needed one to the cup. Looks for Ditchburn. Ditchburn takes the mark in front of Carter. Oh, well, they're coming that quickly. <laughs> We've only played, what, uh, just over three and a half minutes into this uh, last quarter. A great start by the Swans. This is the crowd. They're all behind the Swans as he fires. Ditchburn. And he's put it through for a goal. Forward line coming out to meet it now. Here's Carter. And the oh, he's grabbed well grabbed by Ditchburn Nilly. And the number taken. Oh, good mark caught in by Ditchburn. Something he failed to do last week in that fashion, certainly. And let's look at that in replay. A great mark with a greasy ball. Ditchburn coming in from the side. And what a tremendous mark over the top. As he lines up for his first and Carlton's second goal. Pretty well directly in front of goal. 20 metres out. Shouldn't miss. Well done from Buckley. He kicked a beautiful goal earlier in the match up to full forward. Piri is in front. At the back is Ditchburn. Jess comes in for the assist. Not successful either. Ditchburn flicks it out. Taken by Buckley. A snap at goal. He's through. And Buckley brings up his first. And finally it's picked up by Jimmy Buckley. The Blues swing back into attack. Up towards the full forward position. A good mark to Ditchburn. A very good mark. And still falling here. 
not as heavy as it was before, but still enough to annoy uh, either side. But it's not worrying, Carlton. We see uh, Ditchburn squeeze it through for another goal. Picked up by Jimmy Buckley. The Blues swing into attack. Ditchburn, he's kicked two. Johnston straight in front of goal. Fires. That looks okay. A great start for the second half by. To score, he's gone for short, he's gone for ditch burn, he's taken the mark, put him Own. Ditchburn will lead, the ball well placed, it's a beautiful pass, it's good football. Yes, yeah, so arms magnificent. Yes, every chance of Ditchburn's third goal, has kicked two goals, one. Kick on its way, the count, the fans behind the goals applaud the kick. could push it to the, that's right, to that behind post, and there it goes now, wasn't a well-directed kick, a good piece of roving by Ditchburn, his third goal, fourth goal, so nice piece of roving. Torpedo punt kick, that's got plenty of distance, into the goal square, that's a mark to uh, Ditchburn, could not miss, should we say, should not miss. All clear, says the field umpire, the goal umpire. Up by Dill. A short pass, it's all right, and a mark to Ditchburn. Ditchburn quickly plays on to Mail and running into an open goal. Fires, and this will be okay for a goal. Position a short pass. Coming out to meet it now is Ditchburn. Big Martello's on his tail. He gets clear of two players that time. Good play. The shoulder at centre half for another pass coming up here. Looking for Ditchburn. He's got it. He got away from Martello nicely. And the Ditchburn would be about 30 metres out from goal. He's already kicked one goal from a free kick in the first quarter. That uh, goal coming in the first uh, 90 seconds. If he kicks this, it could be his hunt for the season. That's including the reserves too, of course. Kick by Ditchburn. It's not a bad sort of a kick. It's right through the middle. So it's 13 goals, 11.89. Richmond to Carlton, six goals, 6.42. Two goals to watch Ditchburn, and he joins Jimmy Buckner as Carlton's leading goal kick, uh, kicks. Uh, one, two, three, four kicks for uh, Peter McConville. Ditchburn, well, the same could apply for him, uh, hence the derise possessions to Glascott. So, on those stats, he's probably going to be about their best player. That's no mark. A chance for Ditchburn off the ground, and he's put it through. Ditchburn bringing up goal number three to the Carlton spearhead, and Carlton scored.